Hey, you guys think you know which way it's going to go? Yeah. Always. Well, you should head on and over to Sports Interaction, whatever sport. Sports Interaction has you covered pregame, live and betting, and all major sports. And, of course, your prop bets. If you want to bet, where do you go, guys? Sports Interaction. Sport, SportsInteraction.com slash SDPN. Come on. 19 plus, please play responsibly. The reason I told you not to look at your phone and rudely inter- interrupted Jesse was because Brad Marchand just called you out on Twitter. No, oh. no, oh, really? <laughs> what do you say? Well, it, it actually isn't bad at all. Okay. So I want you to look at your phone. Yeah. I want you to look at your phone. We're going to talk about this because there's no way to avoid it. Okay. He's in Toronto. Who do you, of course he's going to pick at people from Toronto. Yeah, I don't give a Of shit. course he's going to pick at people from Toronto. It's not that bad. Don't worry. <laughs> See, I told you. Uh, that's pretty funny. You. So, um, so <laughs> that's a that's fun. Good. It's a good tweet. It's a you very should, funny uh, tweet. You should print out that tweet and put it in the blue room. Absolutely, you should frame it. That's a good one. Absolutely, and you know what? I think he needs to call it on LFR tonight. Here, wait. He's coming up with a response. Jesse, um, my question to you is: uh, Did Brad Marchand take it easy on Steve? Yeah. Based on what you saw. And we'll, we will read this in just a second. And I think he's just shit posting right now, which is what the NHL sort of needs. Needs yeah, this, somebody to this tweet. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is kind so of cool. So this all goes back to something that happened this morning at uh, skate at the, you know, the pregame early morning skate. Uh, there is a Leafs reporter and Steve's going to catch us up on all of this. Uh, but there's a Leafs reporter who asked Brad Marchand about why he told Craig Morgan, who is the Coyotes reporter, uh, to shut his pie hole. Jacob Stoller is his name. You can follow him on Twitter at JL Stoller. He's a, a writer and a podcaster for the Hockey News, and he's on his way up. He's very, very talented. Mm-hmm. Craig Morgan, by the way, to go even further back, was talking about the Trevor Zegers incident. Bingo. And he was saying that uh, the report from the Coyotes and Stetcher was that Zegers said something, but it wasn't about Stetcher's dad. And then Brad Marchand responds to that. And so it's not your pie hole. And then we get to Jacob. So Jacob said, I asked Brad Marchand, about this tweet after morning skate at Scotiabank Arena today. Holy shit. No wonder you told me not to look at my phone. I told you. <laughs> it's exploding. Of course. Yeah. What inclined him to tweet that? Brad said, ah, nothing. I read the tweet and that's what popped in my head. So I said it. And then Jacob wrote weird and then period. Which to me is like, okay. So Brad Marchand directly reaches out to Jacob and says, I'm sorry you didn't like my answer, Jacob. Would you like me to say something different so you don't have something so stupid to hang your career on? Great reporting this AM. And I didn't like that. Why didn't you like that? I didn't like that because I know Jacob. I don't know him well. Mm -hmm. Um, When did I meet him? I think in my head, Jacob is younger than he really is. Mm -hmm. um, Because I want to say, I think it was either the 2016 Marley's uh, Calder Cup run or 2018. I think it was 2018 Mm because it was a a few years later. And he's this, you know, bright eye and bushy tailed, you know, kid covering the team. And, you know, he has all these questions and and everything. And he's, and he's starting his career and he's been here, there and everywhere. I think he did some stuff for the Leafs nation. I know he worked for, it was either Jets nation or their SB nation site. I'm not sure. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I just thought that was unnecessary okay from brad in a like listen chirps are chirps it's fine we've been i've been anyway fairly open about how i feel about brad marchand on this show i think on the ice he's a reprehensible human being i think off the ice he's a gem he's a genuine gem so i just thought that answer was like i mean he's kind of tearing down the guy's whole career before it's even had a chance to take off you know and now he's he's so then working for the hockey news and uh, maybe Jacob didn't need me to fight his battles for him, but I, well, I wanted to stick up for him because what the hell was that? So, so Brad responded to Steve and took this picture of Steve doing the like the at the camera and said, was that your mighty roar? And, you know, it's a good chirp. Whatever. It and is then a Jay, good chirp. But my I favorite, should sue him. I own that photo. My favorite response is... I've seen his cap friendly. Uh, Jacob's response to all of this is, what is happening right now, LOL? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I said I, I thought you of all people would have appreciated someone being the third man in. Oh, so. come on. <laughs> <laughs> you should go get your media pass and get on the scrum. Yeah, tonight. yeah, yeah. Give all the Bruins bronchitis. No, oh yeah, that's true. That's uh, wear a mask. Even. Wear a mask. Yeah, I know. Get oh. in the scrum, and then I get tripped. Ask for him that. a question. You know what? Yeah. I kind of. <laughs> You're not gonna do. By it. the way, oh, Jesse, tonight? Jesse, I got it. What do you mean? <laughs> like, surely he's playing tonight. Yeah, I don't of course. Know. No, I, the few about? tweets that I saw, people were like, "Oh, he's on All Star break and he's loving life," and I'm like, "Oh, no, no he's not. He has a game this evening." Yeah, yeah. Make it a quote. Did an automated quote for Brad Marchand. I just sent it to Jesse. If you can bring it up on the big board, Jesse, um, it's actually really funny. Um, it's Brad Marchand holding the Stanley Cup, saying, "Was that your mighty roar?" Mm. Make it a quote on Twitter. Love that. Mm. I, I want to mm. listen. I, I seem to recall that. I think tweet you know being what? today and not twelve years ago. I kind of like the fact that there's a little bit of shit talking here. I like this. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's not. It's not even the Maple Leafs. You're. You're like. Uh, you're pulling all the attention away from the Maple Leaf stars. Well, but also like that's a fun chirp. Yes. That's. I don't have a problem with that. I just thought he crossed the line a little bit with Jacob, and I want to stick up for Jacob. That's okay. All. So Brad, I don't think he's a bad guy. I just thought that one thing was untoward. Uh. Uh. Luke Fox. Does Brad Marchand chirp with any of the Leafs? Um. There. Quote. There's so. There's not many really. Uh. Many guys likely to get into it. Mitch is out there talking about video games and his dog and those terrible new skates he's got out. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of guys who are into it. Um, and he's, of course, making fun of Mitch, just joking. And he said, I respect his game. I think he's an incredible player. Uh, that's usually what I tell him, just that he's my favorite player when we're not playing him. I enjoy, I enjoy watching him. And things like that, the things that he does are really impressive. So... He's feeling himself right yeah, now. Yeah, why feeling, wouldn't he? I mean, they're number one in the league by a, like miles. They could miles. lose, like they've lost three straight. They could lose the next, I don't know, eight, mm -hmm. and still probably have like a a cushion at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're ridiculous. He knows it's it's fun to watch somebody who knows the stage. And yes. does it at that moment because he, yes. he's not going to be on Twitter for the last what like two hours now he's just been replying to people on Twitter he wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't currently in a hotel in Toronto yeah they play in five like, hours he knows yeah. he's in Toronto where everybody cares the most about this shit yep. and he's replying to people right now and well, he's given answers like that because he knows the stages that he's on right now and we're going to the all-star break and he can just get three days worth of news out and of he didn't have the stage last time the Bruins came to Toronto Right. Because of all that Mitchell stupid Miller. Mitchell yeah. Miller shit. Yeah. Because we were all focused on a Saturday night. We were all focused yeah. on Mitchell Miller. And yeah. they lost. Because of course they did. Yep. That was, that was, I was like, watch them lose. Yep. Because, and that was back when, I don't think they had lost in regulation at the time. Yeah, it might have been. Or, or, or something. Like, all Mark was undefeated in regulation. They were absurd. Like yeah. They were unbeatable. And that game took them down because, of course, it did. Because their management were friggin' idiots. Mm -hmm. But And now he's back. And it's all good vibes. It's all fun. Yeah. And they're the number one team in the league. And he's yeah. feeling himself. He's going at Steve Dangle on Twitter. Go for it. <laughs> well, you you think I'm upset about this? <laughs> no, this is I'm great. I'm upset he didn't include, a, like, a link to my shit. I want to say... <laughs> <laughs>